Hi all, welcome to another RP tutorial video. Today in this tutorial video, we are going to talk about one of the real time case in RPA. So here we will see how the automation anywhere bot is generating a report. So in this particular tutorial video, we will see how the bot is downloading a data from the SAP from the different SAP screens and it will create a complete report and it will send it to the end user. So in our real time requirement, the, there may be a scenario where we need to send or generate uh, reports and send it to the business user or operation teams to do the further analysis. Okay, so this is the small task or a uh, small bot I can say which I have created to show you how the bot is working in terms of generating the report. So, so basically in this particular uh, tutorial video, we are going to just demonstrate to you how the bot is working and creating the report. So in our upcoming videos, we will uh, show you how we can do the development. So there we will include everything, how to read data from the configuration file and what are the best practices we need to keep in a particular project to uh, 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 like make your code uh, like, you know, stable and robust. Okay, so we will uh, definitely we are going to see that. Okay, so before start, uh, if you have if you're visiting this channel for the first first time and if you have not subscribed this channel then i'm requesting you to kindly subscribe this channel to get more rpa related update and the videos okay now let me move to the next slide so where we can see the process flow so so basically this is a process flow how the bot is going to run and what are the steps bot is following to download the data from the sap screens and sending into the end user so I'm not going to talk about much about this process flow now or in this video. So in upcoming video, we will talk about this process flow in details while we start with the development. Okay, I'm going back to the folder structure. So you, you can see here, so we, uh, we have created this folder structure. So where we have the folders like input, template, SAP download, etc, etc. So inside the input of folder, we have the SAP report. So this is basically a standard template, which is already created. So now bot is going to use this template to put the information. So, so these are the three tables or uh, I can say the report name, which is uh, available in the SAP. So for this report, bot will download the data and it will put it into a particular tab, which is available here. So currently these tabs are blank. So we have the pivot table also. So once the data will be there, so the pivot table will update automatically or once it will send it to the business user. So business user has to do a refresh so they can get the updated data here in this pivot table section. Okay, so I'm going back to the main page. So once bot will be download the data and it will update the status. So in case if the data is downloaded successfully from the SAP and if the report is having some data available in it, then it will mark this status as complete. Otherwise it will mark this status as data not found. So let me close this. Now I'm going to the another folder called SAP download. So basically this is the folder where bot will download the raw data. If I open this EKPO table, so, so you can see here, so this, these are the raw data which is available here. So basically the bot is using this raw data and populating the final templates. So let me delete this. So now, we have nothing in SAP download and our input folder template is also blank. So let me run this bot to see how it is working. Okay, so you can see the template has been opened by the bot. Now it is going to log into the SAP. And now the process of download is going to start now.
so here actually bot is fetching the data from the SAP it will take some time okay so as soon as soon as the data is ready then it will download into the Excel so we can see now the data has been exported into the Excel now bot will copy and paste into the particular template So now bot moved to the another report which is EKPO. So currently we have uh, three uh, different reports which we are using for this particular process. So we can see like two reports has been downloaded and it have updated into the SAP template. Now it is going to the last one. Okay, so we can see a uh, third report also has been downloaded successfully. Now bot will close the SAP and the, it will save all save and close the Excel also. So yeah, so we can see the process has been completed successfully. Now let me go to the folder to see the results. So here we can see the three files has been downloaded here. Now I'm going to the input folder. So this is the SAP report, which we can see it updated. 
and we have all the status because we got all the data available so it has updated with the completed okay now we have the data here so only user has to refresh this pivot table to face the updated data okay so yeah so that's all from the uh, today's uh, tutorial video i hope you find this uh, inf this video uh, informative in case if you have any question you can post into a comment section and if you like the video please click on the like button and please subscribe this channel to get more rp related videos and definitely in next video i will start with the development of this project thank you so much for watching this video